Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today is actually really exciting because I got sent the entire Harry Potter makeup collection, which is brand new. And I thought it would be really fun to show you guys. So this is gifted. Haven't been paid to talk about it, but some of the stuff is really, really nice. And I thought you guys would be interested in me running through the whole collection. So that's what we're gonna do. I will leave links in the description if you wanna check any of this out for yourselves. But yeah, if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go because honestly, there is a lot to get through. Okay then, so let's get started. Now, I will mention that this is available at the Harry Potter shop at Platform 9 and 3 quarters in their physical store as well as online. I believe you can also get it at the Harry Potter store that's now opened in New York or soon to open. That's just really exciting. So, about this makeup collection, I think the thing that caught my attention was that they have actually collaborated with uh, Barry M, which is a British makeup company that I've been a fan of for years, especially their nail varnishes. So what's cool about this Harry Potter collection is it actually comes in three different collections. We've got a Luna Lovegood collection, we've got a Deathly Hallows collection, as well as a Hogwarts House collection, and there's some makeup palettes which I'm really excited to have a closer look at. So let's get started. I think I'm going to start off with the hmm, Hogwarts House collection. Okay then, so let's start off with the house nail varnishes. Now just to mention as well that these are vegan and fully cruelty free. So these are the nail varnishes which are in co collaboration with Barry M and there is woo, a whole handful which I'm about to drop. We have got Slytherin, we've got Hufflepuff, Gryffindor and Ravenclaw and I can say that these nail varnishes are wonderful. I've been using this, I'm assuming it's the same kind of um, ingredients and consistency and formula, that's the word I was after, as the Barry M ones. And yeah, I've been using them for years. I really like the look of these. We've got the house um, crests on the front, the kind of the little mascots. So we've got a serpent, a badger, a lion, and what should be an eagle, but is a, is a, is a raven. Please make it an eagle. But yeah, so these are lovely and I'm personally really excited to wear the Gryffindor one because I am Gryffindor and I also really love this burgundy colour anyway, so this one's perfect for me. But I think it might be fun to wear them all together as well as kind of like a Hogwarts Pride thing. But yeah, so these are the nail varnishes from the uh, Hogwarts House collection and yeah, I think they're really lovely and they are something that I would probably purchase with my own coins, my Gringotts coins. Next up is something that's kind of cute to keep in your handbag actually. They have come out with an entire range of pocket mirrors and they're just lovely. So here's the Gryffindor one, which is in a rose gold and we have a beautiful lion and a G on the front and they've got quite a nice clasp mechanism that when you push it, it kind of just pops up. Um, so there we have it, little little mirror right there and yeah, just perfect for handbags. Now they do have these in all four houses. So we also have the Hufflepuff one, which has a beautiful little badger on the front and it's more of a gold, I think, than a rose gold. Are they different? Mm, no, I think they might be the same. <laughs> but yeah, so that's the Hufflepuff one and oh, I love a little badger. We've also got Slytherin here, which is a silver metal, which is more apt and then we finally have the Ravenclaw one, which naughtily has a raven on it. But um, it's blue and yeah, they all open the same. And I just think they're really nice. It's probably one of the nicest compact mirrors that I've seen for quite a while. It's not something that I would think to buy, so I'm very grateful to have some compact mirrors. Uh, next up is something that I absolutely use all of the time and those are nail files and they've got a whole set of them here for all the houses and I was quite surprised because they've got your normal emery board which is kind of made out of a foam and it's got the kind of sandpaper-esque stuff on but they've also got a glass file in here. So I'm going to show you the Gryffindor one. 
So they come in these little pouches and there's a little Hogwarts golden emblem on the top and then they have these separate ones in here. So here is the Gryffindor one, which is very nice and yeah, I just think it's a really nice thing. It's a really nice product and can confirm they work uh, even on plastic nails, which mine are. I am wearing falsies. So yeah, love these. I don't think I need this many emery boards, so I'm definitely gonna have to find a Slytherin, a Ravenclaw, and a Hufflepuff to gift some of these to, which won't be a problem. My mom's a Hufflepuff, so she'll be grateful. Mum, if you're watching, got some Hufflepuff emery boards on their way to you. So yes, we have the Hufflepuff ones, we've also got Slytherin, and last but certainly not least, we have got Ravenclaw. <laughs> now I think one of the most kind of intriguing products to me was the Hogwarts eyeshadow palette. Now my first honest thoughts when I first got my hands on this was it's quite small for an eyeshadow palette. I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger, maybe double the size, but either way it's quite cute. It will fit in your handbag if you want to take eyeshadows around. I personally probably wouldn't travel with them, but either way I love the design of it. I love that it's this kind of royal marble, it's kind of like regal-ish, posh, fancy, Hogwartsy. And then we've got a full colour Hogwarts crest in the middle and we do have some gold foiling on there. There's gold foiling on the edge as well. It says Hogwarts eyeshadow palette and there are 10 shades within. So on the back it actually says discover all four Hogwarts houses with this varied eyeshadow palette. In 10 bold and blendable shades these stunning pigments will have you feeling as brave as a Gryffindor, as loyal as a Hufflepuff, as clever as a Ravenclaw and as ambitious as a Slytherin sweep directly onto your skin. So let's have a little look inside shall we? Are you ready? I've already seen so Da -da -da -da. I mean, on the initial look, it looks really nice. I like the colour story that they've used. I think you could mix and match them, but I just think it's quite nicely thought out. And I feel as though a lot of us have been waiting for an official Hogwarts palette to arrive one day and they've finally done it. So I've not actually swatched any of these yet, you know. I might have a little tiny live swatch for you. Okay, so let's have a little swatch. I've taken the plastic off. I am really intrigued by the shimmer shades and I want to swatch the gold to begin with. I'm gonna just do it here on my wrist. Oh, we do, we've got pigment, we've got pigment. Okay, let's give the blue, kind of turquoise blue, a little bit of a... Oh, they're very metallic. They're very shimmery. They're not that bad. I wasn't, I wasn't sure if they would have had amazing pigment. Let's do one more. We'll do another shimmery one which is a kind of burgundy metallic. Oh, oh yeah we're enjoying those. Oh, you know me I'm a, bit, a little bit like a niffler so I'm just like shiny. They're really nice. Colour me impressed to be honest. I, I can't wait to have an actual play with that. I think that'll be really fun. So that brings to a close the Hogwarts house collection and we're gonna move on to the next one. So if you want to embrace your darker side a little bit they have got a Deathly Hallows collection which is mostly black items. So we've got the Deathly Hallow nail paint which I'm pleased about because I've nearly run out of black nail varnish and I love the patterns on this. We've kind of got a snake serpent skin and we've got Deathly Hallows on there. Uh, and I just know that it's going to be really good. You can't, you can't beat the Barry M formulas. So I'm excited to use this one and um, yeah, just can't wait. So moving on, these are some things I did not think were going to be involved or included in the Harry Potter Makeup Collection. A mascara! <laughs> and it's in a really big tube, which I believe might even be made out of metal. I think it is. It's this kind of nickel colour metal and then it's got a sticker around it. So this is the Deathly Hallows Black Mascara 
and oh, it's even got a Deathly Hallows on the end of it. It's really, really nice. I have opened this and it's a really lovely mascara wand as well. It's a really good shape. It's one that I would personally be drawn to as well as a makeup lover. So I think this is going to be fantastic. I've not used this yet, but from the outside, it looks wonderful. So I will, um, I'll let you know how I get on with this one, but colour me impressed that this was in the collection at all, uh, which will probably bring me on to the fact they've come out with a liquid eyeliner. <sighs> I'm living my best magical life. This is the Deathly Hallows Black Liquid Eyeliner. I haven't actually seen what applicator this has. My guess would be it's a foam applicator, but I would like it to be a bristle brush applicator. It is a foam one, but I think it's completely personal preference and I will give that a little go on my hand. I mean, it's not a bad consistency. You can be quite accurate with that applicator, to be fair. I think a lot of people would get on with that. It's a really nice deep black as well. Very, very pigmented. You can't really go wrong with a liquid eyeliner. So yeah, that is that. Colour me impressed, very pleased. Let me just wipe this off my hand. And of course they have included a Deathly Hallows emery board set, which is nice if you don't want to go for the more colourful ones. Uh, again, it comes with a glass and a standard emery board, which I think is really cool. We've got a coal pencil in the Deathly Hallows range. And I do use these, though I tend to use white ones these days. But back in the day, especially my emo days, I used to use black eyeliner all the time. In fact, I used to wear it to school a little bit. Did used to get called goth and emo a little bit as well, but hey, it's fine. Just embrace who you are. If you want to wear eyeliner, you wear eyeliner. Be your most authentic self. Uh, so yeah, there's not much to say about this. It is a coal eyeliner pencil. Looks nice, smells very typical to a coal pencil. They all smell the same, don't they? There's something slightly nostalgic about it. I do like it. Now, getting on to the more exciting things of the Deathly Hallows, we've got a black lipstick. I don't know if I'd be able to pull this off. I'm, I'm honestly not sure if I'd be able to do it. I mean, I'll definitely give it a crack, not today. But yes, we have a fully black lipstick and this isn't one of the color changing ones either. This is, um, at least, it, ooh, <gasps> look, they've thought of everything. They've got the Harry Potter branding in the actual lipstick itself. Beautiful. That's really, really nice. I love that. I love new lipsticks. I never want to swatch them, but I am going to. Oh, there we have it. It is an actual black lipstick. I think I might be able to pull that off. I might do like a, a Death Eater look sometime and uh, give that a go. Maybe I should do a video on that. I think that could be quite fun. Little Death Eater makeover. Okay then, we've got another eyeshadow palette. We are being Spoiled! This is the Deathly Hallows eyeshadow palette and it says embrace, in fact let me take this off, hang on a minute, no sneak peeking. Okay so on the back it says embrace your inner witch with the Deathly Hallows eyeshadow palette in nine striking and blendable shades. These shimmering pigments will have you standing out from the crowd, sweep directly onto the skin or use a wet brush to intensify the luxurious metallic finish. That's actually a very good tip when it comes to using metallic eyeshadows. Let's have a little look. Are you ready? Ooh, aren't they beautiful? This is um definitely a more kind of dark arts slash maybe a little bit Slytherin vibes eyeshadow palette. We've got some beautiful metallics, which I'm dying to swatch. We've got a black in the middle with the Deathly Hallows logo there too. Yes, I have to swatch some of these. I don't know, they don't have shade names. I think that's a real shame. I think they could have got really creative with the shade names underneath. I think that could have been really fun. Let's give this a little bit of a whirl, shall we? Mm, it's a very nice metallic teal color. Oh my God, it's like mermaids. Ooh, that is very, very pretty. I'm enjoying that. Okay then, I am kind of tempted to swatch this shade as well, which is kind of like a minty green. And let's see if this has pigment 
It's not as impressive as the metallic ones, if I'm being 100% honest. I think if you were to layer it, you might get somewhere with that colour. Yeah, it's not bad once you've given it a little bit of a go. Um, but if if you're a one swatch one a one swatch wonder kind of person, then yeah, I think that might require a tiny little bit of work. There's a shade here, which kind of looks like it could be used as a highlighting shade. It looks kind of like a champagne colour, and this one looks quite lovely too. Oh yes, that's got a magical vibe around it. I am enjoying that one. That's very very nice. Ooh, yeah, the, the metallic shades are definitely their strengths in these eyeshadow palettes, which is great because most of them, I'd say, are metallics. Yes, there are four matte and five metallics in this palette, and I do like it. I like the colour story again. I like that they put the little Deathly Hallows in the middle. I think that was a nice little touch. So that is the Deathly Hallows palette and last but certainly not least in the uh deathly hallows collection it's a brush set and i was like oh my god that is a lot of brushes um so here it is i feel as though this should have been called the dark arts set i feel as though it's it's more got dark arts vibes i'm not sure what do you think leave a comment down below but this is um how many brushes are in here what six it says a high quality set of essential makeup brushes for the eyes, cheeks and complexion. This must have set includes everything you need for a flawless makeup look. Uh, these makeup brushes are synthetic, which is what we like to hear, and animal friendly, guaranteeing your high performance, super soft, that's entirely quality free. So we've got a powder brush, a blusher brush, a blusher brush, that's blah, blah, blah. <laughs> a foundation brush, contour brush, eyeshadow brush, and an angled eyeliner brush. I would definitely be using all of the eye brushes. Uh, I'd probably use that for powder as well. I probably wouldn't use the foundation brush. I think that's the only one out of the entire set that I probably wouldn't use just because I use makeup sponges. But other than that, it's a really nice thought out set. And I think it's an attractive set as well. So there we have that. Now, guys, we might be moving on to my favorite collection out of the Harry Potter makeup launch. It's the Luna Lovegood one. Ah. <sighs> okay. I don't know what to start with. In fact, yes I do. And it's what's on my nails right now. If you guys have noticed my nails for the past like two videos, they are beautiful, <laughs> if I'm allowed to say that. They're this kind of like magical, lustry, like, oh, I can't explain it. So this is this nail varnish, which is the Luna Lovegood one. And it's in shade Moon, uh, which I love. Big fan of the moon big big fan so it's exceptionally ordinary nail paint we've got her spectra specs on the front but what a beautiful shade this is probably my favorite thing out of the entire collections that have been dropped recently all three of them this is my top favorite i love it this is something that i'd repurchase when it's run out i just think i've never seen such a beautiful nail shade <gasps> look at it uh, okay now they didn't come out with just one luna love good nail varnish oh no they came out with two this one is equally as pretty this one is called diadem love that name um and this is kind of like a pink pearlescent shade so this is more of the purpley one this is more pink um but i just think it's so pretty it says luna love good on the lid very very nice and so excited um i think these two are absolute must-haves from this collection. Now, obviously we all know that Luna Lovegood is known for her individuality and accepting herself and all that kind of thing. And they've got some really interesting products in this range. They have got some holographic eyeshadow toppers. These are so fun and honestly beautiful. I will be swatching these for you. Let me make sure, make my hand a little bit cleaner from all the makeup because and grubby. Okay, so this is what it looks like. We've got Spectra Specs all around. This is in shade Quibbler Ink, which I think is just a darling name. So when we open it, you're met with a doe foot applicator and we have the holographic shadow topper on the foot. So with this, you would probably put your eyeshadow down first and then maybe dab some of this on the top like so and oh, it's just beautiful 
can you see the shimmer? It's got a really kind of electric purple look to it and it's absolutely stunning when the light catches it. I really hope that the camera is doing it justice because it's just so, so pretty. So this is the more purple shade, the Quibbler Ink one. And to go with it, they've got one in shade Luna, which is more of like a pinky gold. It kind of, it's a few colors because it's holographic, it's magical. And just to put this one next to that, just to give you the difference, this is definitely more metallic. Um, it's just so, so pretty. Can you see the beautifulness of these products? I'm just obsessed and I think, as I said, the Luna Lovegood collection to me is where the exciting things are. So that's these two toppers. Again, would recommend. I think they're really lovely. Uh, moving on, of course, we've got some colour changing lipsticks because hello, Luna Lovegood is awesome. We have got this one, which is, uh, do you have, oh, Sunflower, shade Sunflower. So it's got a yellow and pink soft touch lipstick um, container and then it's in yellow. Now obviously it won't be yellow on your lips. These ones will change. Oh that's so magical and so fast. Oh my god that is literally like magic. I've used some of the colour changing lipsticks before that come in the Harry Potter advent calendars and they're not that quick. Normally you have to like give it a little bit of a rub but that's like there's not really a scent to them but that's just delightful that's very wearable <laughs> it's a shame that it does that to the end of it once you've used it but either way it's a really cool product i i love novelty things like that um big fan oh my god i'm gonna be seeing glitter for days just turning into a glitter fairy uh there is also a second lipstick here which is in shade festral oh yes i love that um and this is a blue lipstick, which I'm assuming will be a pink again. Oh, it is a different shade. This is more of like a purpley colour. So Sunflower is more pink and this one is more purple. Yeah, I like that they're different. I think that's a really good idea that they haven't just made them both pink. So that's cool. So we've got some colour changing lipsticks and then there are two Luna Lovegood lip glosses which are here, which look absolutely beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous and very like gold foil heavy. Um, so they're really, really pretty. So this pink one is in shade um, Blibbering Humdinger. Now I don't wear lip gloss. I find them very sticky. So I'm already biased kind of to not liking them. Does that make sense? Um, does this smell? Oh my god, that is... Oh, I want to eat it! What is that smell? Does it say? It does not say. Oh, it's like the sweetest strawberry with... It just smells like sweets and very fruity. Oh my god, if you get the chance to get your hands on some of this range, buy this just to smell it. It smells really good. It smells so, so nice. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's just a very nice pink lip glittery lip gloss. It's very pleasant. I just personally don't like sticky things on my mouth. Let's see what the other one smells like. Very excited. If it smells the same, I won't be mad. So this one is in you're just as sane as I am. Please rate my impression out of 10 down below. Uh, <laughs> and this is, yeah, a more champagne-y colour in glitter. Let's have a... Oh, I think they do smell the same. Oh, oh, <laughs> sorry, they are so good. Let's give that one a little swatchy swatch. That's really pretty. It's got gold and green kind of luster in there. Very, very pretty. Look at that shine. Ooh. Oh, guys, I think I'm just... If they made a drink that smelt like that and tasted like it smells, I think I'd be addicted, genuinely. <laughs> but yeah, the Luna Lovegood collection is kicking it out of the park. So obviously they've made a little Luna Lovegood mirror as well, which, bing, 
just pops open like so. Um, I don't know what this is made out of, it's kind of like a faux leather, so they do feel quite luxe, the little mirrors. And yeah, they're very sweet. So that's the mirror, and last, in the Luna Lovegood and the entire Harry Potter makeup collection haul today, I am going to show you the Luna Lovegood Emery Boards. So there we have it. They're nice. I like these ones probably the best because they're purple and gold and white and it's Luna Lovegood. Oh, we got pink on the back with some more Spectra Specs. I do like those. Um, these are a bargain. They're like $3.95 for a glass Emery board and then a big normal one in... Yeah, I think that's not a bad deal to be fair. <sighs> that is a lot of makeup that we've got through guys and... <laughs> My overall thoughts are, I think they've actually smashed it out of the park. I think they've made it affordable for everybody. They've collaborated with a very well-known British makeup brand, which I have always known to be good and I've respected their, well, just them as a company because I've used them for years. And I just love that they've kind of done a little bit of everything so that everyone could enjoy the Harry Potter makeup. So it's not just bright colours, they've included like a darker collection, they've included a more wacky collection, which is the Luna stuff. My personal feelings are, if I was to recommend anything out of all of it, it would be the Luna Lovegood nail varnishes, uh, the lip glosses, because they smell incredible, the eyeshadow toppers as well. So basically the entire Luna Lovegood collection, I recommend. I all of the nail varnishes, I think. Honestly, as a whole, I think they've just smashed it. I've I've enjoyed it. I'm definitely going to get use out of everything. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Are you pleased that they've come out with a makeup collection? It's They've taken their sweet time to come out with it, but I'm glad that they have. I feel as though I've been, like, waiting for it for years. I was ready for it, like, five years ago. <laughs> but I'm... Ooh! Not the lip glosses. Shh. But yeah, I've been really, really enjoying it and I can't wait to get everything out, put it in my makeup drawers and yeah, just use it on a regular basis. So leave your thoughts down below, I'll be replying to some of those. What do you think their strongest piece was? What do you think perhaps something that you didn't think was necessary in this collection? I don't know. I'd love all your thoughts down below, but I'm quite positive about this collection. That is my honest feedback. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give it a magical thumbs up. And I guess I'll see you in my next one. And until then, I'm just going to spend days sniffing my lip gloss. <sighs> Guys, I was sniffing my lip glosses. I even made cameraman Chris sniff, sniff the lip glosses. And it's the black currant lollipops. You know the little black currant? There's a picture here. There's a, these black currants specifically, lollipops. Um, this is what these smell like. And I actually have a whole tub of these lollipops in my kitchen because I'm really extra and buy a lot of sweets. Um, I'm gonna go and have one after smelling these. Okay, I'm off, I'm off, goodbye.